Sebastian Metal Martinez, MMA and it's here with South African fighter Don Madge, who uh, knocked out to Joven Edwards to win his UFC debut. So, Don, there's been a couple South African fighters who have made it to the UFC. I mean, we've got Ron Potts, for example, we've got uh, Gareth McClellan, but none of them have really perhaps gotten the, the entrance and that, that ex sort of explosive success that you got. Do you feel like, you know, perhaps this is the new generation of South African fighters taking over UFC? Um, absolutely, you know, I, I, I believe that they, they were the first generation and the guys that paved the way for um, the rest of the South African fighters, but, um, you know, this is the, the new generation and, and you can see the, the progression that we've had coming into, um, coming into the UFC now, especially me and the, and the rest of the guys that will be following me too. And making a UFC debut, getting a fifty thousand dollar performance of a night bonus via knockout. I mean, could it get? Could you get a better de performance debut than that? Uh, not really. Yeah, I think I think I showed um, all aspects of my game. I showed my jujitsu. I showed my striking. Um, I said I said beforehand. I said, "Yo, I, I sent a message out to to Dana. I was like, hey, Dana, get that fifty fifty thousand dollar check ready for me because I'm coming out and I'm 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 coming to get it. You know, and that's that's my plan for every single one of my fights. You know, I'm a finisher and I'm always looking to finish fights." And finish it, you did. And I feel like, like you said, it's perhaps the second generation of South African fighters. Uh, you've got EFC Africa uh, back home, which we've seen a lot of, for example, Gareth McClellan come from there. Uh, how important is an organization like that, which, you know, in context is pretty big to the continent, how important is an organization like that to form sort of the next generation of fighters? You know, what, what the EFC have done for, for South African fighters and for African fighters in general, it's given us a platform to, to perform and also to, to compete against international uh, opponents you know before we were kind of just competing at small local shows and uh, going up against just South African talents and now it's opened the world to us and we, we're starting to fight for uh, guys from all around the world and uh, you know it, it gave me a good platform to get uh, to where I am right now and um, yeah I think I think the the talent that we have there is is uh, it's a hidden it's a hidden gem yeah. well, I mean, I, I've seen a quite a lot of shows and I'm inclined to agree so after such uh, an explosive debut and a bonus winning and where you even call, you predicted it to Dana, it seems like you've got perhaps a little bit of leverage. Uh, is there anyone that you'd be interested in fighting next? Um, right now, I mean, I haven't even been home since my fights. I came basically from Canada to, to California to help Chris for a camp. Um, once I get home and I speak to my coach, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll think about opponents and think about what's, what's the next plan. But, um, you know, I was supposed to fight David Tamer in, um, in May. I broke my rib two weeks before that. So that, that, that's a fight that still interests me. I think that would have been a great fight. It would have been, a, it would have been exciting. I, I like his style for my style. And I think uh, me and him would put on a, put a hell of a show. Yeah, well, obviously Tamer, Swedish fighter, appeals to us a little bit. Yeah, well, I think that was perhaps a fight that perhaps some Swedish fans were a bit surprised at because I think he had four straight wins at that point. I mean, they didn't really know who you were, but maybe now they're more inclined to know that. And like you said, it's an interesting fight and it's a fight you want. Do you have any message for David Tamer? No, look, I mean, uh, he is on the tier. I think he's 6-0 right now in the UFC. Um, he's probably looking to get a top 10 opponent. Um, I said that in another interview, but... Uh, you know, if, if he's down for the fight, I'm down for the fight. You know, I'm, I'm ready to fight anyone. And uh, I think he'd make an exciting fight. I'd make an exciting fight, you know. Um, and that's all, I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. So, you know, if he wants to make 50 Gs with me, you know, let's do it. All right. Well, there you go. David Tamer, you want to make 50 Gs? I guess you got to pick a fight with Don Madge. Don, thank you very much. And good luck for your next fight. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Thank you.